it's not just that AWS has a service like S3, it's that all these services have started to tie together in sort of a broader sense. So from S3, you can go into EMR. EMR, you can go into Dynamo. Dynamo, back to EMR, into Hive, into Redshift. I'm Nick Sanders. I'm the VP of Engineering at a company called Has Offers. So we do what's called attribution analytics for the advertising industry. So it's all about attributing things like clicks, impressions, conversions, post-install behavior, back to ad networks, publishers, and users that are representing that traffic. We have two big products. On our mobile app tracking product, our customers are advertisers and sometimes agencies working on their behalf. And then on our Has Offers product, the customers are networks, intermediaries between advertisers and publishers. We're completely cloud-based, which has allowed us to scale really, really fast. Our product is built on AWS. So if you're hitting one of our Pixeling servers, you're hitting an AWS instance behind the scenes. If you're doing reports on our system, behind the scenes you're seeing either AWS services like Redshift powering those reports, or services like MySQL running on AWS instances. So DynamoDB is core in both our products. It, we use billions and billions of events per month. It's absolutely rock solid, stable, latency line. So we use it in our tracking engines, we use it in our core of our attribution process. On our mobile app tracking product, the way it works is all these incoming tracking requests, which include uh, clicks, which are being redirected through us, and then we're redirecting users to app stores. It includes in-app notifications from the advertiser's mobile apps, so the in instrument or SDK. All that data is hitting uh, Route 53 for top-level DNS routing, so that's an AWS product for DNS. So from Route 53, all this giant amount of traffic volume comes into tiers of load balancers. We're using ELBs. Behind that, we're using our own software-based load balancer as well to have finer grain control. A uh, massive multi-tier tracking architecture all built out on AWS instances types. So we use almost every instance type that's in the book. DynamoDB is in the core of our attribution process, and we're also using SQS, which is the work queue service they have. And we're not just using it as a work queue, we're also taking advantage of a lot of the features it offers. It offers durability, so if one of our machine fails, data re queues really, really nice. One of the things that we really, really like about AWS Redshift is its horizontal scalability. If you double the number of nodes in your Redshift cluster, your queries go almost twice as fast. So it's one of those comforting things to know that if your data is exploding like crazy, that you have that safety net where you can still service your clients, meet their needs, and build a great product and company. AWS is really this collection of amazingly well-designed, super scalable and flexible services as a whole and no one else in the industry comes close to matching what AWS has today.